Today we're gonna look at some devastating one-shot combos with the new Ninja Hunt in Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. By the way, I am showing you several different builds in this video, so please don't immediately click off as soon as you see me use the same build twice, because there are still other builds in this video, okay? I just want to show you a few different variations, because there are things like cooldowns, different kinds of health bars, etc. So it's just worth knowing different ways how you can connect these. That variation right here with the buff from the Karma ult, for example, would also one-shot somebody with a defense buff or that is receiving heals during your combo. Okay, this one's very easy to land. You just do a charge attack, glimmering flames into sand coffin so he can't sub to the wooden dome, and then finish with the dog. This combo will even one-shot players with greatly increased health from the Black Rain outfit, as you can see in this clip right here. You can deal a bit more damage if you activate the sand coffin after the wooden dome, but you will really have to adjust to the enemy sub cooldown when it comes to that. If the enemy has a very long sub cooldown, for example, you don't even need the sand coffin at all and will still one shot the full life defense type. You can also combo the ninja hunt with other summonings, using them the same way we've already seen it with the wooden dome, or how you would do it with a wall splat. It's just that the summonings have a way smaller hitbox, so it requires more precision. You need to line it up perfectly. A lot of weapons already have combo strings that will give you the perfect distance to knock them up and catch them with a glimmering flames or something right where they need to be, but you can also simply adjust everything manually if you're skilled enough with it. Basically just need the right distance and angle. A ninja tool that works really well with the ninja hounds and that you can use on all classes is the water release bullet. I just love this thing. On attack types for example you can hit the obo drop to get their sub and stun them long enough so you can dash forward, place the water release bullets behind them and then summon the dog, pull back the shuriken mid summoning animation and then you have both the water release bullet and the obo pull holding the enemy in place to get multi hits with the dog in. You can use teleportation jutsu to increase the damage of your dog like I did in the last two clips or use a tails chakra mode for an even bigger jutsu damage buff. You could also use something like a Rasen Shuriken for a defense drop instead. There are definitely a lot of ways to make these dogs hit like a truck. And you don't even need to pull a Shuriken back mid combo if you rather want to save that for a bit later in the fight. The dogs also make for a great combo starter if you combine them with something like the Glimmering Umbrella Drones that will hold the enemy in place after you hit them so you can dismount and follow up on the long stand of the drones with whatever you like and then finish them off just like that. I still have some more tips for you that will also make it easier for you to hit all of these combos online. Just go and watch this video right here. I can't recommend that enough. Peace out and never forget, if it has a health bar, it has to die.